I want you to imagine that you're a knight and you're on this huge plane. And when you look to your left, you see this big dragon. When you look to your right, you see this huge dragon over there. Um, if you look way back in the distance, there's this huge, huge dragon way out far over there. If you look kind of just off to the side a bit, there's a kind of smaller dragon right there. However, if you look dead straight in front of you, you see this beautiful castle. And on top of the highest tower in this castle, you see the most beautiful princess. And what the dragon symbolizes are your fears. And what the castle and the princess symbolize is your desires. And what I feel that lots of people do, and just looking back, something that I've done that I don't think was you know, the best way to, best beliefs on how to live life, was instead of focusing 100% on my desires, I was going after all these dragons. I was almost like doing things I was afraid to just for the sake of doing things I was afraid of doing, rather than, rather than going after my desires. And I believe the true like, optimal way to live life is only going, going towards your desires. And if fear is in the way of your desires, you go through that fear. There's going to be a dragon protecting that castle with that beautiful princess on top of that castle. But when you go through the fear that's blocking your desires, that's when you're like using true, true courage. However, if you're just going after your dragons kind of in the middle of the wilderness, um, there's some dragon over there where there's not even a castle, it's, it's almost like, what's the point of doing that? You know, why are you, why are you off battling this dragon for no reason? And um, the reason is, is because it feels good to face our fears. We get self-empowerment from it. But this self-empowerment is really going around, it's really not doing anything for our core, it's really not doing anything for our true courage. Our true courage, the, the true courage that we, we build, the courage that comes from our heart, comes from facing the fears that are blocking us from our biggest desires. Um, I just want to give you an example of what I'm talking about. Uh, I remember two months ago I was talking with this guy who's actually currently married and he says he's in a really happy and fulfilling relationship. However, he was telling me that when he was younger, he never really approached girls. He never really faced the fear of talking to girls. And he kind of just got into this amazing marriage kind of just by chance. And he was telling me, he was like, hey Luke, I'm going to start approaching girls and I just kind of want to talk to them and I want to get their number and once I get, the no get their number, I'm never even going to call them ever again. I just, I just want to face that fear. And basically how I was thinking about this in my mind was he was this knight, he's already like in his castle with his like princess, however he was thinking about just going out and like killing some dragons just for the sake of killing dragons. And he said he was uh, listening to a bunch of pickup artists um, online and these pickup artists were making him feel insecure about not facing those dragons earlier on in life. And, <laughs> and I was thinking that's just like, that's just stupid. It's killing dragons for no reason and it's these these knights have been going around killing these dragons and then they're preaching their message and their message has been making them feel insecure. But what you really should be doing is be thinking about what desires do I have in life now? Where do I want to take my career? Where do I want to take this relationship? Do I want to travel somewhere? What, what other castles can you see on his horizons and go into those castles? Not just facing fears, facing dragons for the sake of facing fears, but to always be moving towards your desires. I was also talking to this guy recently and he was like, the way I live life is I find what I'm afraid of and that's my compass on how I live life. I'm always going towards my fears. Well again, that's a, that's a completely backwards way of living life. You should be always pointing your compass towards your, towards your desires to where your heart wants to go and then any dragons in the way of your desires, you, fa you face them. But stop with all these dragons that aren't really doing anything for your life besides self-empowerment. So this is kind of a tricky message to give because maybe if you're really depressed, maybe if, you're, if you don't have a strong desire right now, going out and facing a fear for the sake of facing a fear is beautiful. It'll self-empower you. But what will really get you to like feel fulfilled about yourself? Will it really feel that void in your heart? No. What it will do, will, will, it'll just inspire you to face more and more bigger dragons. You'll be on this quest killing all these dragons with no real heart in it, no real purpose. And I guess the big message I want to give to you, to you in this video is stop facing your fears. Like, what are you doing? And figure out where the castles are in your life. Figure out where your goals are. Figure out where your desires are. Figure out where that princess is. And move towards those desires. And there's going to be dragons guarding those castles. And it's often those dragons that we've, we've been distracting ourselves by facing these other dragons when that's the, tr that's the real dragon we should be facing, which is the dragon guarding the castle that we want to enter. And when we courageously like, cross the moat and, and face this dragon where our true desires are, 
that's when you we really feel like we're coming from our heart and that's when we really feel like when we courageously take action towards our desires that's when that dragon kind of just melts away it's almost like we don't even need to fight it but that dragon was just an illusion and it flies away once it senses your courage on moving towards where your heart is truly aligned in your desires so uh, just something to think about. Keep facing your fears, but really try to be aligned with your desires and be moving towards your desires coming from your heart. Stop facing your fears, move to, towards your desires and let the fears come to you.